Hey friends, I hope you're well, and today, question for you. Why did I buy an Axe FX3 instead of another tube amp? I'm gonna give you five reasons why I bought the Fractal Audio flagship, and maybe it'll help you decide if it's the right thing for you or not. And also, stay tuned to the end, because I've got a couple of reasons why you might think twice about it as well. Let's go over and find out my five reasons for choosing the Fractal Audio Axe FX3. Okay, so here's the scenario. You're trying to get that killer tone on a demo. You're recording in the home studio or even a bedroom. You know exactly how to get it, but it means turning your Marshall stack to 11. 11. You risk blowing out the windows or getting your parents out of bed or trigger your neighbors to call the noise abatement people. Well, with the Axe FX3, you don't have any of that. And in a silent studio like this, it's absolutely perfect because I can have the tone of the Marshall JCM 800 there through the 4x12 cab, mic'd up, close mic'd with a SM57, jacked up full to 11, but at headphone volume. So none of that nonsense. So that's my first primary reason for going for the Axe FX. <laughs> I can tell you with confidence that the Axe FX sounds just like that thing on full. The few times I've been able to turn it up and blow the windows out, I know exactly what that tone is like and I love it. And this on the Axe FX sounds just like it. See what you think. <laughs> Number two is tone. This has got so many different tones in it. In fact, it's got 512 presets in it, 259 choices of amplifier, 2,237 choices of impulse response and cabinet. What would it cost to buy all of that equipment? I can tell you, it will be an awful lot. Personally, I defy anybody to tell the difference between the Axe FX and any of the amps it's modeling and cabinets it's modeling. And the tones are just awesome. And I've tried tons out over the years. I've tried out the Art SGX 2000, the Boss GT100, the Line 6 Pod, the Vox Valvetronic Combo. I've tried tons of them. And this is by far and away the best of the tones. It's only my opinion. And of course, opinions like tastes in art or photography or sculpture or tattoos even it's very subjective but for my money i'm really really happy with the tones so number two is tones <laughs> Number three, versatility and flexibility. As I alluded to in my second reason for buying it, the tone, the Axe FX is incredibly versatile and has a huge number of built-in heads, 
cabs, microphone, impulse responses from speaker cabinets, studio quality outboard effects. But what's most exciting is there's all, almost an infinite number of possibilities on stacking tones and mixing and merging. When I was at GitCon, I was talking to Nick Johnson about the way he recorded guitar on his latest album, and he had three different amp heads through three different cabs, each mic'd with three different mics, and they messed about with the volumes and values of those to mix and merge. And that is an incredibly flexible way that you could do something very, very similar inside the Axe FX without all those mics, all those amps, all those cabs, and all those horrible cables. <laughs> So yes, yeah, certainly it's going to be easier to model the type of tone and the type of setup that you want. And in terms of efficiency and throughput, that's really gonna speed things up as well. There's a further flexibility in that the Axe FX Live can be used through four independent channels. So you can put two guitars, a bass, an acoustic or vocals all through, all four through one Axe Effect and send that out digitally to your mixing station which is really versatile. Finally, there's huge forums and a huge number of really, really creative people out there creating impulse responses, creating presets and uploading them to the Fractal Audio forums. So you don't always have to do all the donkey work yourself. You can go and find a tone that you'd like the sound of. You can download it and load it into your own Axe Effects and get recording with it straight away. <laughs> So number four, efficiency and workflow. In the studio, especially like mine, it's great to have all of your amp tone options in one place with the flexibility of changing anything digitally and avoiding the usual crawling around on the floor on all fours, getting tangled up in cable soup. Additional to that, having so many different varieties of cab and different mics that you can use and set up the mics for distance and off center, off of the cone center, you've got so many options that you don't have to fiddle around with physically. You can do it all in the modeling amp. All of this can also be edited directly on a PC via USB using the free app that you can download from the Fractal Audio website. The speed of setup is wonderful as well in terms of flexibility and efficiency and keeping your workflow quick because you don't have to set up loads of different amps. You don't have to mic them up each time. You don't have to patch that all into the studio two XLR cables out of the back from the balanced outputs and you're ready to go straight into the sound desk. And when you switch it back on next time, everything will be identical and perfect. Thank you.
Five, portability. How big a truck would you need to carry around all of the cabs and amps and all of the outboard effects that the Fractal Audio has built in? I reckon it would probably fill an A380 hold a couple of times, but don't quote me on that. And certainly, I couldn't afford to buy all that, as I said earlier, but it's all there in one three unit rack unit that will go under your arm, that you can play in your own studio, take to a friend's studio, take to a professional recording studio, under one arm with the guitar in the other hand, and you've got exactly the same tone that you started with when you were working out the pieces on your own demos. How flexible is that? What's more, flight case the unit up, and you can do what Metallica do and take it out on the road and play live. And it sounds exactly the same in every venue you go to. So there you have it, the five reasons why I bought the Axe FX3 rather than a tube amp. Okay, so there were my five reasons to buy, but as I promised you, for those of you that stuck around to the end of the video, I've got a couple of reasons why you might have to think twice about this. One man, one channel, one desire for truth about quality guitars. China guitar skeptic. Certainly from a sound point of view, it is wonderful, but it does come with quite a hefty price tag. And if you're the sort of player that only plays one style of music and you need one style of amp, then this is probably not for you at the price point that it's at, because you would probably get an absolutely awesome amplifier, tube amplifier set up and speaker cab for the same money that you'd spend on this. This really is for situations like mine where I'm in the studio and I want multiple sounds at the drop of a hat for lots of different styles of music. And in this scenario, it's absolutely perfect. If you are a one style player in a band gigging out, then it may not be for you because for the same money, around 2,500 to 2,800 pounds UK sterling, that's at, October 2018, you could pick up an absolutely awesome amplifier or a couple of tube amps probably, and 2x12 or 4x12 for the same sort of money. And you might be a lot happier with that. So that's reason number one why you might not.
So the second reason why you may want to think carefully about getting the Axe FX is this. When it comes to playing live, you simply can't beat the sheer volume and punch and cut through that a real tube amp gives you. Every single venue you go to will sound different depending on the size, number of people that soak up the audio and especially the top end frequencies. And tube guitar amps are renowned and excellent for punching right the way through all of that and keeping a pretty tight sound. Plus the fact it's fun to have it flapping your jeans. I was having a discussion actually at Gitcom with Phil X and he really struggles because he has to have his 4x12 in an isolation cabinet underneath the stage. And he says he goes to find the sweet spot where he's marked an X on the stage so he can get that nice feedback and tonal response from the cab. Well, that's one place where live, it really is nice to have a real tube amp and to have all of that going on. So think carefully, but in the main, I think the Axe FX is certainly right for this studio. And if that suits your purpose as well, then it could well be right for you. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm really interested to see what you say about what you think about modeling amplifiers, particularly the Axe FX 3, which I think is certainly the most convincing I've heard in terms of real tone. And I defy anybody to tell the difference between that and a real tube amp. In fact, Nick Johnson said to me that modeling amps clip off the top of the waveforms, but I've recorded this and I've looked and they don't at all, not on the Axe FX anyway. So give me your comments down below and I'll be back really soon with another video. In the meantime, folks, as always, you take good care.